Hi, Alex here from Rebelloper.com and in this video I am going to show you how you can finish up your countdown label. We are going to implement the game over logic and we are going to tweak the layout of our countdown label. So without further ado, let's dive in. What you want to do first is commit our source control for the previous day. So I will just type in day 12 here, push to remote. I will show you each and every day how you do this because it's extremely important to commit to GitHub and create a new branch from the current branch day 13 because that is the way you should work each and every day. So you should have it in your bones. Now, let us go to our main menu and let's see what, uh, not the main menu, I'm uh, sorry, the gameplay menu. And what we have here, well, you have a counter start value of 60. But if we just run this, we uh, encounter that at point zero of our countdown, we go back to the uh, minus one, minus two, and as you will see here, zero and we have minus one. We want to break this uh, game and maybe go back to the main menu. So what we need to do here is create a function for the game over. So and we will check, we will pass into this function, is this one or is it uh, uh, over? Okay, so one, and this will be a bool value. Okay, and that is all you need to do. And we need to set our Boolean value. So is game over equals to false at the beginning. Okay, we have a variable here, so we may check if the game is over because we don't want the countdown to be uh, uh, decremented when our game over is ready. So, what we need to do first is to decrement the countdown counter only when uh, the game over is false. So, if is game over and we will add an exclamation mark at the beginning here so if this is false then we are going to decrement the counter let us just copy this out and paste it here good stuff now let us just check if the counter is smaller or equals to zero then we want the is game over to be set to true. So we no longer decrement the counter and we want to fire the game over one with false because we are failing at completing our mission. So and just print out here and I will just with status add our bool here one okay and it will print out if we have wanted it, want it or not let's build and run again and see if this worked and we should get a print statement here game over with status when the counter hits the zero okay six five four three two and one zero okay game over with status is false okay we have two uh, fire ups of this so we need to low uh, make this a one okay because we are going to decrement one more time okay and this time around we will fire the game over one function only once let's see if that is correct that is correct but we did not decrement so i will just Go over here and paste this section of our code after. Let's see if we get the zero. This is how coding works. We just tweak it a little to get out of it what we really want. 
Okay, three, two, one, and zero, and we have our statement in the log game over with status. Now that we have that part over, let us talk about another issue, and that is with this 90 seconds uh, countdown counter start value. Because we don't really want to be set to 19 seconds because that is not really readable. 80, 88 seconds, how much is that? We want to be shown as one minute and let's say 28 seconds. So for that, we need to set our uh, count counter label text to be something else. And we will do that here. So first of all, we need to check how many seconds are there and how many minutes are in those seconds. So let's create a, a variable here and let's call this minutes. And these will be the counter divided by 60 because in a minute there are 60 seconds. Okay, next up we have our seconds and that is the counter and now we don't want to divide it we want to get the remainder of our div uh, divide when we divide our counter with 60 so we want to get the modulo and that is with this percent sign and we want it to be with 60 so that is how we get the remainder of our counter and that is the seconds so next up we want to construct our countdown labels text so let's type in countdown label dot text and we want it equals and we want to set first of all the minutes and then a semicolon and a, a second so it should look like something like this good stuff and i will just comment out the first one uh, let us uh, just uh, build and run here and uh, maybe these should be let's I would just change them to constants at uh, this time let us see how this 90 seconds is written out okay and as you saw this uh, we did have a glitch there but not for long and we have a really good countdown label here but let's see what happens when we go past the 10 second mark. And something strange will happen and I'm sure some of you might have guessed that we, we don't really have this zero here. So what we need to do is check if the seconds and of course the minutes are below 10. Let's check if, and I will do this for the seconds first, if seconds is less than 10, then we want the um, countdown label to be and for this I will just create a new variable and it will be and this time around the second text should have a zero in it so I just simply append this well not append put in forward this uh, zero and I will just copy out this and let us just build and run and see once we are uh, over the 10 seconds barrier you will see in that we will have our zero instead of here and while we are at and waiting for it let us just delete all of this we don't want any text at the moment okay when we launch the app and now let's see 10 and 9 as we expected it to do be and now let us just do the same thing for the minutes okay okay and finally let's change the minute text in our countdown labels text I don't want to sim here we have our okay I don't want to build and run again I will just show you how you can uh, refactor this code because we have a lot of ifs here and it's kind of a long way and I want to show you how you can do this with a ternary operator so what we want to do is under minute text let us just add here so if minutes is less than 10 
and we want to have a question mark. So if it is less than 10, we want to add this zero. And otherwise, we will just use the version where we don't have a zero in front of it. And the, let, let's do the same for our seconds here. So seconds is less than 10. Then we want to let's just copy this out and paste it here. So if it is less than seconds, less than 10 seconds, then we use this zero and we can comment all of this out. And you can see how easy it is to use a ternary operator to check for all of this. And I will just you change this to be let's in a minute. Let us just make sure that we have all of this correctly okay and we do have it correctly because as you can see we have a zero one one okay now what will happen when we run out of the 60 second mark and let us just wait 10 more seconds let's check for the zeros here it is okay and now let us just see what do we get? Okay, and 0.0. .0. And one last thing for this, I want to append this, put this to the left side, and I will just do that when I set the position, and it will be 0. Point, let's say 0, 0, 002. Okay, that is good because I have anchored it to the left side, and I will just change this to let, and again, to let because we are not changing the values of our text. Okay, let's build and run one final time and see how all of this looks. Good stuff. Okay, and I really want to maybe tweak this a little bit to be, let's say, six. And finally, I want to add a uh, Oh, to our label a uh, zero and zero because this looks much better okay and that should be it for adding a countdown label to your apps in sprocket with swift hope you enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one